today uh, is something that has shifted uh, over time. So there are some simple fraud tactics that the fraudsters uh, know that are kind of low-hanging fruit, very easy to uh, win the bounty for an install, like click injection and ad stacking and click flooding. And, um, these are pretty uh, standard tactics that the fraudsters are using on a daily basis to, to win money, steal it from the marketer. But now we're seeing um, you know, a shift in, in how their approach to uh, fraud is coming. So they want to become harder to detect. And uh, they're doing a lot of um, fraud that is hard to detect through actions where they create a fake uh, install uh, through SDK spoofing. And they make it look like a real user by uh, you know, having activity inside an app and um, you know, spending time in the app and uh, really trying to fool the marketer uh, and the attribution company that it is a real user when in actuality it's, it's not a user at all. It's not a real user at all. So um, the fraudsters are iterating and um, you know, becoming more sophisticated in an effort to combat uh, fraud detection tools um, and so now we're seeing it intercepted the need to uh, help marketers um, really, you know, abate and mitigate this fraud through using uh, a myriad of, of fraud detection um, tools. So we have upwards of 17, um, you know, different algorithms that are both deterministic and probabilistic to detect a variety of types of fraud um, that we see coming from our clientele. And uh, our end goal is to help them you know, stop the fraud and become more efficient with their marketing dollars and see better return on their ad spend. Okay, so in, in terms of the, to give you some context on the size of the business, uh, size of the problem, um, in Q1 of this year, we've analyzed over 30 million app installs from ad networks and we detected that the majority of them were fraudulent, so completely worthless. Um, the, the awareness around the problem is, is very small. I mean, we're, we're still right, right at the very early stages of building awareness of, of the issue. Going back to those Q1 stats, we detected about 51, 52% of the apps to be fraudulent. That would equate to uh, approximately uh, about uh, $70 million worth of advertising spent that we, that we saved. The app industry in general is definitely continuing to grow. I mean, I've, I've been around in, in mobile technology and advertising marketing for about 14 years. Um, and the app part of that industry is going from strength to strength every, every year. Um, especially the bit that, that, that we do in terms of the, the, the marketing budgets for promoting apps, which is why we're at an event like this. Uh, it's just, you know, growing 30, 40% year on year. It's probably the biggest problem um, that, that we're facing right now as marketers. Uh, I think that there are lots of people in the industry trying to fight it and there are lots of great products out there that we've heard from today that are really breaking new ground in fighting it. However, it's going to always be a case of, you know, holding back the way. Um, because it's, it's fraud, it's, it's criminal behaviour at the end of the day. We heard today that it's up, actually up there with you know, drug trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking. So when something's that profitable, people are always going to find ways to kind of break the system and make money from it. So we need to be vigilant as marketeers to make sure that we're fighting back and we're encouraging the industry to fight back as well. Uh, one of the stats I heard today was one in three pounds, every pound spent in marketing, in mobile marketing, is fraudulent. So that's a third of mobile marketing is fraudulent. That's a terrifying stat. So the whole end industry really needs to stand up and take note of that and really get together and put their heads together on how to fix this problem, how to fight it.